Hi, this is Anagha Mudgal. So Da Vinci Resolve 19 has just been launched and it has over a hundred feature upgrades. So in today's episode, we will check out few feature updates in the Da Vinci Resolve Fairlight page. Voice isolation. Voice isolation is in the track effects section of the mixer in the Fairlight page. It is not new to the Da Vinci Resolve 19 update, but it has been optimized. And so we'll go outside, record some ambiences, and then come back. We have come outside to record the ambience with the Zoom H1 and Hunter recorder to test the new AI-based dialogue separator. It's a great tool to have in documentary and location shoots. We have come outside to record the ambience with the Zoom H1 and Hunter recorder to test the new AI-based dialogue separator. It's a great tool to have in documentary and location shoots. That was a great tool. It was quick, fast and fantastic. So now, let's check the new Dialog Separator. Dialog Separator uses the new and powerful DaVinci Neural Engine AI. It allows us to have the individual control over the level of dialogue, background, and the ambience. Now you can mix and match and rebalance it accordingly. I will use the same clip that we use for voice isolation. And so I am duplicating the audio on a different track and then mute the first track. Then activate dialog separator, clicking on the control will pop up the dialog separator window. One can also automate each parameters of the dialog separator. In the mixer on that track, I have activated automation. As soon as I activate the automation, notice how the red line appears underneath each knob of the dialog separator. The red color indicates that it can now be automated. We have come outside to record the ambience with the Zoom H1 and Hunter recorder to test the new AI-based dialog separator. It's a great tool to have. We have come outside to record the ambience with the Zoom H1 and Hunter recorder to test the new AI-based dialog separator. It's a great tool to have in documentary and location shoots. Alright, that was interesting. It will certainly be useful in many projects to come. Okay, so now let's check the IntelliTrack AI Point Tracker. It is also powered by the new DaVinci Neural Engine AI. With the IntelliTrack, one can automatically track people and objects in the Fairlight view and generate pan automation data that matches the object's movements. For auto tracking to work, one has to first click on the toggle automation button. Let's click on the floating window to see it better. Click control button in the top left corner of the viewer and enable show tracker controls and show tracker coordinates. Click auto and place the tracker point on the objects that need to be tracked and select left right plus down up. Click the track button. You can check the panning data on the track automation. Currently, left, right and front, back simultaneous auto tracking is not supported. So if the track is more complex, then one may need to do their tracking in sessions. So now let's test the new music remixer. This track effects plugin uses AI to split music into individual basic stems like vocals, guitar, bass, drums and others. One can also use the level controls to rebalance and remix your sources or use the mute button to make instant changes and bring parts in and out of your mix. As you can see, this clip is from Pixabay. It's a highly compressed MP3 file, but for this demonstration, it will work just fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go see. See you
Finally, DaVinci Resolve Fairlight now fully supports ambisonic immersive audio with accuracy up to fifth order ambisonics. So let's give it a try. Now let's quickly run through the basic setup. Go to Preference, Video and Audio I.O. and activate the Ambisonic feature. Now let's add a surround file and configure the surround clip format to Mono. Then set up the ambisonic master bus and a reverb bus. To monitor your mix, Choose your decode format in the monitor section drop down menu next to the speaker output level control. Let's play with the ambisonic banner and position your sources in ambisonic space via the 2D or 3D panels. Let's add ambisonic ready reverb and send the info to it. Let's apply ambisonic ready limiter to the master bus. For demonstration purpose, I am manually drawing the automation. Let's enable 360 viewer mapping to enable the ambisonic meter. So this is all for today's episode. For now, bye, see you and take care.